Hey everybody, it's Brad again with another video for you. Um, today's video, I'm going to be explaining the solution to a problem that people often have with two different programs that do the same thing. So you might have one or the other, um, or maybe even another brand uh, that I'm not aware of that, that does this. Um, what I'm talking about is software that allows you to see a picture of what the embroidery design looks like uh, in a folder. Um, Windows by itself doesn't know how to make a picture out of the embroidery design, so you end up with a folder full of just you know, randomly named um, designs that you can't see what each design is. So they sell these softwares. One of them's called, um, it's uh, by, it's called Embrilliance Thumbnailer. Uh, Floriani has one that's called the Embroidery Image Maker. Um, I'm sure there's other software brands out there that have these things, but uh, it's it's the same problem um, that you would have with, with any brand. So it doesn't matter which brand you have. If you have an Embroidery Image Maker of some kind, um, watch this, uh, what I'm about to show you. So I'm going to navigate to a place where I have some designs on my USB drive. Uh, let's go into this Christmas lace folder. And here we've got xm1781.pes through xm1800.pes and I've got this image maker software installed on my computer but I'm not seeing a picture here. Why? Well it turns out that depending on what setting you have your folders to display um, the, the file names depends on whether you're able to see the pictures or not. Okay, well that's great, so how do I change it? Up in the upper right hand area you see this little button that says change your view and then a little carrot that if you hover your mouse over it, it says more options. If we left click on that and then move the slider up to large icons or even extra large icons if you want, look and then the smaller they get, they eventually get so small it doesn't display the picture anymore. So we just move the slider up to as big as you want. And here, there's my designs. And there's the pictures of them. So, if by default yours was like this, then good for you. But a lot of people have told me that they installed the software and it didn't do anything. And this is why. So that's how you do it. That's how you fix it. Um, that's it for this video. I'll see you next time.